He is the shadow of Saint Nicholas. He has not come to give, but to take. How's it going everyone? Daniel Rodriguez here, aka Big D. It's time to review another movie. This time it is the latest movie that stars Adam Scott, man. It is a Christmas uh, horror comedy movie, man, which uh, definitely shocked at the box office. I believe it was, it has a budget of $15 million and made, what, $16 million, I believe, like it, it topped. So that that's really awesome. I think it was like number two at the box office, uh, standing up with Hunger Games and everything. So very, very uh, shocking. That's really cool. Uh, Adam Scott, Tony Colletti's in here. She's amazing. Uh, Allison Tolman's in here. Fargo. You remember season one, Fargo? She's in, she's in there. Uh, as well as, well, she played Molly Solverson in uh, Fargo. So you got Tony Colletti, Adam Scott, David Conier, or Cochner from, uh, you know, Whammy from Anchorman. You know him. You know, he's always in, uh, he's been in, like, Final Des Destination and everything. So he's been in other movies, you know, that are, like, horror element type of thing. Uh, like I said, Alison Bowman. So it, it, it's, a, it's a really, really, you know, interesting cast. You think, I think you even have the maid from Two and a Half Men, the, you know, the maid, the one that's been there for, like, the whole series. So she's in there as well, man. I mean, it, it's seriously... Uh, not a bad cast, not a bad cast at all. I mean, I'm not a huge Adam Scott fan. My mom loves him from Parks and Recreation. I think he's an okay person. Last time I saw him was Hot Tub Time Machine 2. Uh, he was really fun in there, man. He was a really funny character, so it, it's good to see him back again uh, as a main character. This time he is the main lead uh, at, at, of some sorts. So here we go, guys. This is a non-spoiler review. I'm just going to give you my pros and cons and my final score. Tell you whether or not you should go check out this movie in theaters, wait for rental, or never see this movie at all. Just maybe pass by it. So here we go. Again, a non-spoiler review for Crumpus. This movie was directed by Michael Doherty, who also directed Trick or Treat, um, you know, four or five years ago, man. I, I never get to saw the movie. Uh, my dad ended up, like, burning it down for me and everything. I, I like, burning it down on a disc and everything, uh, but I never ended up watching it. But uh, Trick or Treat, uh, I, heard it, I heard it was a decent movie, man. I heard it was a good movie from a few people at school, so I don't know, man. Maybe I'll give it a try. Maybe I'll give it a shot. But Michael Doherty, uh, he has that horror element. He, he does know how to do that scary uh, elements in there, man, for sure. And definitely a comedy and horror mix where you... This is a comedy, but it's not like it's like a laugh out loud, like, ha ha, we know we're a comedy. So we're just going to do a bunch of fourth wall break, you know, we're going to break the fourth wall and laugh at the camera and talk to you type of comedy, you know. It's like it's a real horror movie, and then you have the comedy elements, but it's not always like 100% comedy. Sometimes it's, you know, it's there, and then it goes, and then it's there. So here we go. Here, I'm going to get started with the pros first, because I don't want to break the mood. I want to give you the good stuff first. So here we go. First off... The thing that stands out to me the most about this movie is the music and the score in here, man. Honestly, I'm not going to say, because when we, when we see Krumpus for the first time, when, when we see him, not like, but the first time he's introduced in the movie, uh, the, the music just got me. That got me scared. Not, not Krumpus on the roof. The boom, boom, the, the score literally worked so damn well. Uh, it, it definitely, like, the, my, either my theater had amazing sound systems around or it was just the music, dude, because it was fantastic. A every scene that m used loud music, I mean, it literally, sometimes there was loud music where it was even, you can't hear the characters talking because it was like, meh, 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 you know what I mean? Like, it was really that fun type of music there where it did have that really horror feel man like you were like really like oh god run 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 you know you had that feel where you needed to rush you needed to go it it, it, it was a great feeling the effects they used a lot of practical effects there was there was cgi in here and the cgi wasn't bad it, it i mean how are you going to use a practical they they use a lot of practical in many ways that you think would be cgi but it ended up being practical and that's what i love about it i love using practical mad max for your road 85, 90% of that movie, practical. Only 10% CGI, you know what I mean? Like, there's not... You love practical. You, every horror movie nowadays, it's like a, a CGI ghost and everything, but when you actually use a practical element, it, you, you appreciate it more. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, people who go to the movies just to go, then they're like, they don't care, but moviegoers, you know, we're just like, oh my god, that's like the filmmaking, the way they made it, it's really awesome, so the practical... And the CGI were both great. You know, I mean, the CGI wasn't like, oh my god, CGI of the year. Here we go. This one's CGI of the year. 
but it, it definitely was, I mean, it was noticeable CGI, but it wasn't like, you know, it was really good for what they were using it for. And then the practical, uh, you always know which one was practical, and I, I really do like the, the makeups uh, on the practical monsters and everything, uh, because there are a lot of creatures in here, and there's a lot of, I don't know the myth of Krumpus, like the actual, actual myth, I haven't read into it or something, but really don't want to, but the, the creatures, uh, you know, gingerbread and all that, let, let me just tell you, I think they used it well for the movie. Uh, the Krumpet, Krampus himself, he is a, he is scary. I don't know if I like his design. I mean, the practical look looks awesome on his design, but I don't know if I just, I don't know if I really like it. You know, like, I wasn't, like, scared, like, oh, my God. Like, I really thought he would have a different type of look. But, um, yeah, I guess you get what you get, you know. I mean, just me personally, I was like, oh, oh, it, it, it looks like St. Nick. Not exactly, but you know what I mean. Like, oh, it looks like a darker Santa Claus in a way. Not, I'm not, I'm not spoiling the look because it does look alternate very differently. But it, I was like, that, that was my first thought. Like, oh, oh, you know. So whatever. That, that's just me. Uh, gingerbread cookies are the best thing, dude. Because when the action scenes were going on, which there is multiple action scenes in here. Uh, people were just laughing out loud, like, <laughs> oh my, there was this teenager, I'm, I'm, I'm 17 now, but there was like maybe 14, 15, he was like, ha 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 ha, like, laughing at all the, like, the gingerbread scenes and everything. I, I get it, the action was meant to be funny, or else the action is just that bad, I'm not sure what she was laughing at, but I think the action was pretty good for the most part, I, I'm not saying it was great, but for the most part, I mean, a horror action comedy, uh, not action, but horror comedy Christmas movie, I mean, you, you could only do so much, you know what I mean? Like, you got Adam Scott, Adam Scott's not going to be like Sylvester Stallone or, you know, like, you know, he's not going to be Rambo, so I mean, you got to, you got to make, fix it up a little bit, you know, because this is like an original script, isn't it? I mean, Krampus is an actual mythology, but... You know, I mean, I don't think they're actually... I mean, there's other Krampus movies for the past generations, but I'm pretty sure that this is an original script. So, you know, you can only do so much, you know. The creatures, like I said, are awesome, and one of my favorite characters is the grandma. The grandma is an interesting character. She has the most interesting background. She's the most lovable character, I think, out of the whole group. So that's just me personally. Now, those were the pros. Now on to the cons. First off, besides the grandma... The characters aren't that likable. Adam Scott's character... You like Adam Scott, but his character is not really that likable. Uh, David Coney, you know, he, he, he's, his, his character is funny. But then again, he's not really that likable. Like, I don't want to really know that guy in real life. Um, none of their characters, they didn't feel like they were really parents. A sheep must protect his flock. You just, what? You didn't even protect him, you know what I mean? Like, I, don't, I feel like, I feel like they were just, like, all talk. Like, the the, the kids and everything, they just weren't likable. You, you were like, go ahead and get them, kill them, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, some of the characters just weren't that interesting, or they weren't that likable, where you're just kind of like, why are you here? Why are you wasting all this time? You know what I mean? Like, just, I'm just saying, like, only the grandma... And the kid, there was a, what, the main kid, were likable. The other people were just kind of like, you're jerks, you're dicks, you know what I mean? Like, you're not, all of you guys are not that great, you know? I'm not saying the acting, I'm just saying the character, like, you, they probably, the, the writer should have wrote likable characters. Like, I get a few unlikable, but not, like, the whole cast to be unlikable, you know what I mean? Like, they weren't likable. The ending of the movie, I don't, I'm not going to say anything, but I don't, I didn't like the ending. I didn't like it. I was kind of like... There, there was a great ending, and it went, it, you know, it, it, it ended, and then it continued. And then I was like, oh, my God, like, no, they're going to do a twist ending. Like, it ended so perfectly, and then it just continued, and I was like, don't, don't, oh, uh, oh, oh, now you're doing another twist. Oh, it's not that good of a twist. You know what I mean? Like, they just did one of those, and uh, that's personally for me. I didn't, I didn't enjoy that ending. Uh, there was a slow opening. It literally took 30 minutes or 35 minutes, maybe 40, no, about 35 minutes to get Krampus actually into the movie, like, see him. But it was just a slow opening, you know. But it, again, it was a slow opening, but the story, it felt rushed. The story felt rushed, but yet the opening was slow. I don't know how to really explain that, but that's how it felt. Uh, as well as 
90% of the time we're just in the house. We're just in the house 90% of the time. You know, there's there's no explanation on where is the other neighbors. There's no explanation. We're just in this one house with like nine or ten characters. Okay, this person, that person gets, you know what I mean? Like, there's just no, there's no, if the story felt rushed because it just went from boom, 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 like to, okay, that happened. Now, you know, don't let time pass by. Let's just go do this. Let's do that. You know what I mean? Like, I felt like they cut out a lot of things and definitely in the trailers the lines they weren't like they were in the movie you know what I mean like they were the same lines but it was not like the same take it was like a different take so that I felt like they definitely deleted a, little, a few scenes that would probably will be behind the scene footage or extra deleted footage in the DVD but honestly here's my here's my what I'm gonna rate Krampus and then I'm gonna tell you why ladies and gentlemen I'm going to give Krampus a 7.1 out of a 10. I think that is an oak. That's an okay. It's an okay movie. It's not a great movie. It's not really that good of a movie for me. But it's an okay movie. Did I enjoy myself during the movie? It tried to be funny, but it really wasn't that. There are there's maybe three or four parts where I laughed, and then there were like 15, 20 jokes, and then I didn't laugh at those like 15 or 20, and only like two or three. You know what I mean? Like there was not really nothing that I was like ha 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 ha. Ha ha, yes, yes, ha ha. There, I wasn't laughing that much. There was, like, Adam Scott's jokes weren't that funny. David Cohen, some of his jokes weren't funny. There were just some jokes that didn't work that other people laughed at. I'm like, that's not really that funny. That was like a cheesy, cheesy joke that really didn't work. So I'm saying, like, everyone has a different sense of humor, but just the, 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 the jokes didn't work. It felt rushed, and then that slow opening, and then some character explanations, like we see one character early on, we never see them again type of thing, and... It's kind of like, oh, well, I guess we just, you know, an hour and a half, we don't never see them again type of thing. You know what I mean? Like, there's no explanation, there's no... And I guess it could have made, been made like that, but, you know, you're kind of sitting there and you're kind of just, like, wanting to see what happens and where... Are you going to go check on that person? Are you going to... You, you know, you're just... It's just there in the house the whole time and you want it to expand a little bit more uh, because, you know, you just want it to expand just... Give me, where are the neighbors? Where are these people? Where's that? What happened to the rest of the world? Why don't you drive out of the place? You know what I mean? Like, just those moments, those little nitpicking moments, you just want more out of this movie. And it was just an okay movie. Is it worth watching in theaters? No. Is it worth watching ever? Yeah, it is. But rental. It's a rental movie. Unless you're in the Christmas spirit, then go see it for a Christmas movie. But it's not something I'd take my friends to be like, you want to go see Krampus? Well, let's go see that. Or like, take your girlfriend out just like, hey, you want to go see Krampus? Yeah, I wouldn't say that. It's not like a date movie. It's just really just... It, is, it has that Christmas feeling and it has the horror elements, but yet I wasn't really scared because most of the scariness was already shown in the trailer. Literally. All, all of it was mostly shown in the trailer. And promo. So... You don't really have nothing new there that you're watching. You know what I'm saying? So everything's already been shown already in the trailers. Not like the whole thing, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah, 7.1 out of 10. That's where I'm going to... That's where I'm putting a stick down right there. That's my uh, that's my seal right there. Putting it 7.1 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully all of you guys enjoyed. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about Krumpus. If you've seen the movie, tell me your thoughts on it. Whether or not you're going to go see it or not, tell me... Oh, now I'm not going to see it. Now I'm going to see it. Thanks for saving me five bucks. So saving eight bucks. You're welcome. You're welcome. Don't worry. You know, I'll just uh, try to do the best. Try to do the best I can. And uh, I'll see you guys next. Uh, my next new movie review, hopefully, fingers crossed, should be in the heart of the sea. There were apparitions with uh, Chris Hemsworth, uh, Cillian Murphy, and all them. So we'll, we'll see you next week for more of newer movie reviews. Thanks again. See you guys soon. If you really want to support the channel, guys, you really like this review, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I mean, if you want to, uh, I'd really appreciate it. Just if you want to see more content out of this and more movie reviews, TV show reviews, everything like that, please, it's, it's free. If you want to support it, do it. Just do it. I'll see you next time. Spock be with you always.